And welcome back to Yakuza Like a Dragon. Certified so, underdogs? Why is this the story of my life? <laughs> uh, I mean, I remember you telling me, like, when the game, uh, launched that you related real heavy to Ichiban, no. so I think this game was the story of your life, wasn't it? Yeah, basically. So I, when, <laughs> when I was part of the writing team for Judgment, it just kind of like bled through a mm -hmm. lot, and at a certain point, we just said, "Ah, screw it!" Like, Gabo, what's your story? And <laughs> uh, a forty-eight hour session later, where I just like spoke into a recorder, uh, and uh, here we are. <laughs> right, right. So this is the time where you uh, found a casino in the back of a a, ba a public bathroom. I'd like for you to not mention uh, that part of me finding it. Um, Ichiban finds it. <laughs> right, right, yes. Ichiban just, uh, checks out this sick sliding panel in the back of a public restroom here. Yeah. And, uh, I spelled the secret already, but it's a casino. Fun fact, it doesn't actually even go underground. Literally, the entire road behind it is a mosaic. <laughs> All right, so here in the casino, you can redeem some chips for uh, some weapons or some more music CDs for the uh, the ride bar. And as standard, we can uh, play some games here as well. I guess I just really wanted some uh, some stuff. Mm. I don't blame you for yeah. wanting the Royal Joker card. Those cards are, I think, the best weapon for a very specific, uh, class later in the game. Mm. Uh, I think I do actually have access to it right now as of the, that recording. But I'm not using it because I'm trying to, like, raise up other job levels, so I just bought the perfume for Eri To make it so that she gains job experience faster. Anyway, let's play some poker. This is, uh... Texas Hold'em Poker, if you've seen uh, our other RGG LPs, then uh, you'll you'll know this this game. It's the exact same one. Oh, yeah, good call. Yeah, what the fuck am I supposed to do with this? Uh, one pair. I'm oh. so done. It's a very dangerous, uh, turn river and flop. Yeah, I don't think the, the AI, do they have any, like, differing options between them? You're gonna bet me crazy. I'm hoping for the straight here. Uh, pretty sure A's doesn't count as low card. I thought it, I could have sworn it did! No, because Royal Flush has the A, so I'm pretty sure they don't. Do uh, I'm gonna look this up now. I'm pretty sure I don't win this hand, but uh. Well, you'd have to get a five, which is pretty unlikely. Yeah. I think at this point I'm just hoping to uh to scare them off the the uh, pot. <laughs> Aces may indeed be used as low in a straight in hold'em. A yeah. two three four five is the lowest possible straight, also sometimes called a wheel. But is that in Texas hold'em or just regular hold'em? Uh, you know what? This only says hold'em, so I'm not sure. Hmm. I'm just going to assume that I was uh. I could have had a, a wheel there on that hand. Yeah, you know what, I'll, I'll just say sure. <laughs> Alright, how'd I do here? I'm so done. Bullshit. Yeah, I always feel that way when I play uh, uh, poker in video games. Can I help you? <laughs> like, whether it's Night at the Poker or just like a mini game poker game, I always feel like 
the the AI just always gets too lucky, you know? Yeah. Anyway, um This is the uh the final proficiency test at Onabara. This pulls five random questions from every exam up to that point, and you have to get 100% to get it, uh, to pass this. I can't believe you skipped all of the ones that you could have shown. Eh, you know what, well, if I have, if I have my prep work done by the time this video goes up, then, like, there will be an interactive version of the quizzes for everyone to, to, you know, do on the web. Uh... <laughs> but yeah, this one's fucking hard. Yeah. Like, God help you if you get the stoop the questions about like uh, toxicology. I, I picked one at random, but that was one I definitely struggled with. Yeah, I, I seem to recall some of the music stuff getting me. Yeah, the music stuff is hard too. I still can't believe Fortissimo is a real term. Can I help you? I, I hope ass. that's how you pronounce it, because I still don't get it. Anyway, uh, once you get, like, I think six certificates, and you're the president of Ichiban Confections, you can come around the corner to, uh, to find Ikari. Uh, Alright. No, I understand. Okay, well, please get in touch if you change your mind. Uh, thank you. Bye. Good luck on your future endeavors. Yeah, at this rate, I don't have a future, period. Yo, Akari! Huh? Oh, oh, oh no, Kasuga-kun! <laughs> How much did you hear? Uh, apparently so looking at the... Something about you someone's on my list of, uh, Briggs software <laughs> stuff, so I don't know who so they are. Uh, uh, Aces can be higher or lower in the street. What will become of the cool. elite, charming, cream of the crop persona mm -hmm. I've been cultivating? <laughs> Nobody sees you like that. Oh, hello there, you two. I'm not interrupting anything. No, but... I love you! Uh, Akari's just down in the dumps, so... I'm thinking about how to cheer him up. Oh, oh time out, Kasuga-kun! Shut up about that! <laughs> He's just kidding me, Akoshi-san. It's really nothing serious. Everything's fine. Really, I was gonna go buy you a drink, but if you're okay, then... Anyway, Kasuga-kun, were we about to get going? We had some kind of uh, a tea theme planned. Wait, what do you think? <laughs> You're hilarious, you know that? Well, off we go! <sighs> so after this, like, in, sort of interaction has been so cliche, uh, you know, used in so many different pieces, uh, different <sighs> works of, um, modern culture, do you think, like, anybody ever falls for it anymore? I would hope not. But, uh, <laughs> you know, I'm not going to discredit it. One of those, like, uh, just because it's stereotype doesn't mean it's not, uh, it's not true things. Yeah. So sometimes reality is stranger than fiction. Mm. Anyway, dis despite probably having a mattress made of the certificates at this point, Ikari is still, uh, on the job hunt. And, and you know what? I can relate to him. It, it's it's tough being on the uh, being the one being interviewed. Uh, if only we had some sort of prior experience in a different LP or something Back. about this sort of thing. Yeah. Hmm. Mm. Drawing a blank. Yeah, me too. Oh, so like me and my LPs? <laughs> or my Same. podcast. Or my podcast, or... Or my dumb posting on no. somethingawful.com. <laughs> yeah, I know what a fortissimo is now. <laughs> I know how many toxic things, like, uh, a certified person is allowed to handle. Oh, oh yeah, I yeah. Think. God, I, I, that question got me, like, three times. 
Same. <laughs> I feel like this elite businessman looks very similar. To who? Ikari? Oh! I'm trying to. I don't know. It's at the top of my tongue. Hmm. <laughs> Didn't know you were into that sort of thing. But if you want other men touching your butt, I'd suggest a club. <laughs> does, does this position have benefits? It's okay. If only they knew knew who they were talking to. Actually, by this point, like, it is entirely possible to have bought, you know, commercials for, a uh, uh, business minigame at Ichiban Confections, so... Yeah, they could have seen Ichiban on TV. You think so? Or maybe it's because you haven't shown the, the commercial yet. Oh, yeah, yeah, I guess we could say that, like, in this timeline, uh, an Ichiban or er, Confections commercial hasn't shown up yet. Yeah. Which is a shame, because those commercials are fantastic. Ah, yeah, look, dude. You're the one to blame. That's really how it works. I also like how all your party members just kind of explode out of your pocket and then you have a fight. <laughs> yeah! They're just like, yeah, we're here now. Oh! Oh! God damn! Yeah, this, this game kind of takes the whole party in a pocket thing almost literally. Mm. Not, not to like Super Mario RPG levels, but, you know. I was jealous of how smart you are. Okay? We good now? Oh yeah, and if you still want a job, I'll put in a word for you back at the office. No bullshit this time. Promise. <laughs> I think whatever company would hire goons like you is bound to go under quick. So I respectfully decline. Well, no, no, no. Disrespectfully decline. You, you beat him up. <laughs> Come on! Let's just go! Ikari, I hope you took their lunch money first. <laughs> Sorry to echo also, this goes back to the whole to idea of, like... I can see voice that. versus no voice. I, I hate that I hate for bailing me out big time. Like keep pointing it out. Yeah, but you're always the one bailing me out. So how can yeah, I it's just so this game it's, it's so impactful you know, when like you finally hear you kind of the voice. Mm -hmm. out, you're a really good guy. But then it's like I right in the middle section, get a voice a uh, script. Here's a little Ooh. something from me. Hope it comes in handy. And I believe the Tranquil Tangle, uh, like, cuts your MP in half but doubles your experience? Something like that? I don't know, it's not something I ever really use. Nothing will improve if I give up. And even though I've been knocked down by 99 companies, 
I've got a mountain of certificates to break my fall, so I'll just get back up and have at it. As long as I believe in myself, I can keep going. Hey, <laughs> listen to you. You've got way more going on than you thought. Trust in yourself, and you can't go wrong. Right. So, Anyways, I have this company, uh, what do you, <laughs> what's your specialty? Oh, it's, uh, some place called Ichiban Holdings. Uh-huh. I've never really heard about it till now. Apparently it's this local organization that's all about giving back So this is, uh, some very minor spoilers for the business storyline, but the company does get renamed to Ichiban Holdings, like, after three, uh, milestones, I think? You could use me as a reference. So I'm not sure if he says Ichiban Confections if you do the sub, sub story before then, or if you ca can only do this after uh, you become Ichiban Holdings. Mm. Uh, forgive my errant tongue and slovenly demeanor, future boss. Dude, what's your problem? I'll do anything, anything. Just say it. You want your shoes licked? Okay, let's give it some tongue. Stop acting like a dumbass for once. See, this is why nobody wants to hire you. You think we can uh? Go to Onabara and suggest a class on, um, interviewing? Probably for the best. He really needs it, but, uh, Ichiban's a magnanimous president. He he just hired, uh, Ikari right on the spot. And you know what? That's not a bad hire, because, you know, fucking gold rank employee. Walking for a while now. Want to take a break somewhere? Yeah, I wouldn't mind some tea. What's wrong, Namba? You've been awfully quiet. Nothing. Just my stomach's not feeling so great. Yeah, I'm thinking that room temp milk went bad. Anyway, I think it's getting better. Oh, all right. Just don't push yourself. No, uh oh, nope. Do you think I'll be at peace in the afterlife? Uh, Yo, Namba's gonna blow! We gotta do something! Yeah, how about we abandon him here? Throw him into the lake. <laughs> it bring him some brown pants? I don't know if it'll help. Look, just get him some suds. And then escort him <laughs> to the nearest clothing uh, All right, let's eat. I'm I'm starving. I, I see you do the vertical selection. I'm more of a horizontal guy. Sometimes I do horizontal. Sometimes I do vertical. Horizontal is way more efficient. I'll just put that out there. With that menu, it's it's equally as efficient to go both ways. Mm, disagree. I would have guessed you were that big of a shrimp fan. To be honest, the chili sauce is my favorite thing about it. A good chili shrimp sounds real good, though. I don't want to waste a single drop. Hmm. Hey, don't mess this up. Order for this chili sauce lover don't worry, I got this. He wants more shrimp and chili sauce. Yes, complimentary rice. <laughs> you ordered rice? Yeah, put some of that chili sauce on top and try it out. Oh, ho, ho, that's brilliant! Now it's a chili sauce bowl! Right? Now you get more food, and you get to use up all your sauce. Exactly. Good thinking there, Kasuga. I feel like the idea of just using sauce on plain <sighs> rice shouldn't be such a revelation, but maybe that's just because I grew up, like, uh, drowning my white rice in soy sauce. Probably, yes. <laughs> anyway, we're just gonna go check out a bunch of these, uh... Hangouts for a little while. Just because I think they're cute and fun. Who's hungry? Me! I guess that wasn't one of them. <laughs> Even me us in suspense, that's all right. <laughs> I still think that this is like. That's one part of the game that they could have changed and made it so that, like, 
Just tell me what areas allow me the, the special conversations. Cause, yeah. Because there's no way I'm ever going to know, like... Yeah, unless you just, like, go and meticulously buy out the menu tons of times. Yeah, like, Who's I'll just wait for somebody else to figure it out and okay, go off their work. Guys up. Yeah. Like, <laughs> some restaurants, too, press, even have multiple just conversations like this. Relax, would you? you don't gotta like, put on the, the uh, what is it? I think it's so, the... And just what is that supposed to mean? It's that burger shop that's well, on, like, um... If you think I'm doing this near the area where the, uh... You nerds, you're wrong. That cafe was? I can't remember I what it's called anymore. Pocket Cafe? The power I, don't know. I know that burger shop has a couple oh, of conversations. Yep. Purely self-motivated. Same thing when girls offer to divvy up the salad. I don't get it. I'm saying... A girl who takes the initiative to serve the boys is really just angling for a better plate for herself. Dang! You guys think on a whole nother level. Seriously, though? Here I was thinking girls You know, were just this conversation reminded me of this one li little adage I've heard uh, once what you like. where it's like, you should never trust a fat okay. chef or something because they've taken all the good bits for themselves. Soul whose willingness to serve us chicken is but That's one of your many hurtful. acts of compassion. A little bit. Yeah, like a mother. That's I don't remember who said that though. That <laughs> Some asshole who doesn't like. You did not just compare me to a mother. You two are so. I think it was a chef who said that. By the way, don't leave those skewers lying out. You'll stab. So a cello chef. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> oh, shut up. So yeah, the party's well, good, and plastered now. Have we talked about what happens uh, when the party's, like, mega drunk? Uh, I don't think so. Okay. Um, I guess I'll explain it again later when we get into a battle. But when the characters are drunk, they, uh, it's, it's basically like being confused in, uh, most other RPGs. Yeah, I'll stop by again next time but sometimes they just don't do what you want them to do. <laughs> sometimes they'll anything. just attack the party. Yeah. Well, that kind of thing. Two of us. <laughs> <laughs> Vintage film theater. Guess they only show old movies here. Yeah. We're not an inn, you know. Have a little respect, huh? Nah. <sighs> this is a classic, too. <laughs> So here, here's a sub story I've been sitting on for a little while. Classic titles in house. We can go watch movies. Well, I also get kind of sleepy when I'm in the dark watching a movie I don't really understand. I don't want to be disrespectful. <laughs> it's quite all right, but just because a film is old doesn't mean it's hard to follow. Old films span a whole range of genres, from sci-fi to romance, suspenseful thrillers to fun for the whole family. And of course, we have many titles are just as spectacular as the latest and the greatest, guaranteed to keep you on the edge of your seat. Huh. Uh, Prime Minister Man. Before CG, which means <laughs> things like real explosions on the set doesn't get much better than that. In fact, I'll say it's downright fresh. So much so that I'm confident you'll feel refreshed by the time the credits roll. All right, I'll bite. You just gotta be careful we don't end up watching movies that have uh, aged poorly because everything's been influenced by them. <laughs> Well, I didn't choose to be a curator of vintage films for nothing. I simply want nothing more than for people of today to watch these films and find some joy, even if it's just a little. It'd be a waste if they were left to be forgotten. Wouldn't you agree? But then, I suppose that's entertainment, an ever-fleeting sparkle. Though it would be fantastic if people saw these films as a brilliant little sparkle in their own lives. I get ya. So that's why you opened up the theater. Correct. The Seagull yeah, Cinema is a place waste of where money. anyone of any age can come <laughs> to financial burden the classics. <laughs> Though anyone also includes those who fall asleep during the screening. <laughs> Regardless, this is a good opportunity for you to get a taste of the classics for yourself. And since it's your first time, this one's on the house. Really? You sure? Quite. I'd like you to see all the good this place has to offer. Well, I'm already here, so I might as well. Excellent. Right this way, please.
Notably, it is just Ichiban watching the movie. The rest of the party is not invited. Robocook. Of course, which is also really dumb. It's something I didn't enjoy. <laughs> I can watch this over and over again and never get tired. Anyway, are you ready for some Robocook? Wait, you're gonna watch too? Of course. Freeze. As a curator, I'm allowed to watch any film I want at any time I please. All right. Well, I guess it's pretty cool start, that you can watch whatever movie you want at any time now. because you own the place. We must show yeah. our utmost respect yeah, for those who brought right. splendid works to life. I don't really see I it. I would say that even blinking would be a waste of precious time. There's a hesitation time. there for some yeah, reason that, sure. that I don't get. <laughs> oh, shit. I imagine, like, the rent's a pain in the ass, but, you know. Damn. Now I'm sleepy as hell. Yeah, it depends. No, that guy was nice enough to let me in here. Don't fall asleep god damn it Asuka. all right it's time for Ichiban's fight to stay awake これだけははっきりとわかる。私は料理のために生きるのだ。Shit, movies make me so sleepy. So, yeah, this is how we're going to represent Ichiban's, uh, drowsiness. There are going to be a couple of slumber spirits, such as the Rem Rams or Alarm Cocks, to, uh, that will serve to try to get Ichiban to fall asleep. So when the Rem Rams show up, you just got to press the button that uh, corresponds to where they are. They roughly show up in the same uh, positions as, like, you know, the general controller mapping. So the circle one sort of shows up on the right. Uh, directional buttons one should be fairly obvious. Triangles at the top. Um, I don't actually know what this looks like on keyboard and mouse. I have to imagine it's W A S D and I J K L. Uh, it's probably W A S D and then the arrow keys. I, you see, I would have assumed that too for like um, the disco game in uh, like Yakuza Zero, but. I think it was also IJKL or whatever. Anyway, when the alarm cocks show up, don't press the button that they uh, that they've got because that'll uh, make you sleepier. Yeah, it'll stop you them, them from alarming you. Yeah, that's what they're there for—to wake you up. Yeah, I kind of skipped your instructions at times, so I kinda, yeah, it was it was a little bit where I was having some trouble with the alarm clock. <laughs> Whew, made it through. Hisats! Yo Galaxy! Extreme Flambe! Oh shit, he's gonna set the whole arena on fire! Sleepy all of a sudden. Alright, so now after that intermission, it's uh, time for round two. Same versus the first. It's not a terribly tricky mini game. Uh, it's just fun for the goofy visuals, and, uh, it makes a really strong impact, uh, in trailers and stuff. I think, I think you're kind of, I mean, I said it a little bit short, just with how easy or, or uncomplicated it might be once you get to the harder, uh, movies. Yeah, I might be. 
And it's also just like it's a nice way to to see like some cheesy awesome. like synopsises of dumb movies you could think of. True. There's a lot of there's a lot of really good ones here. Mm -hmm. Made it to the end. But dude, that should be like the most basic ingredient. No, you don't understand. For the love of, for the love of God, people, salt your food. Uh, counterpoint, for the love of God, people, MSG your food. That was awesome. I won't dispute that MSG is going to make your food taste great, but salt is also very important for actually making your food just taste good in general. Whew. At least I was able to stay awake. That was pretty good, though. Guess it doesn't matter how old it is. A good movie's a good movie. Hell yeah. Probably would have got my whole life without Should have said, like, movies, good movies are timeless. Really. This guy really wants <laughs> everyone to enjoy the classics, huh? There's still a lot I haven't seen, so I should come take a breather when I have time. Thanks for today, Mr. Curate. Welp. <sighs> oh, sure. Respect the classics. Womp womp. <laughs>